What's up guys, Johnny here, and welcome to the Investing for Beginners community. Today, we're going to talk about Warren Buffett himself and how he is picking up two specific stocks and he's betting on making a once in a generation bet, right? Now, we all know who Warren Buffett is. If you guys have been trading for quite some time or know anything uh basically about investing you would know exactly who warren buffett is now before we get into it all that i ask is that you smash that subscribe button and help us get to six thousand subscribers we just passed that 5200 subscriber mark and we're working our way to that six thousand dollar mark by the end of the year and while you're down there smash that like button so you know when i do future videos we have over 500 videos right now in our playlist that you can look at and watch at your leisure. I talk about day trading, swing trading. I have live streams for both. What's inside my Robinhood portfolio when I had one. Now I have a Webull as well as how to invest in crypto. Dividends, dividends, dividends. Over 90 videos on dividends of how you can start making money as well as Sunday stock talks and some simple strategies that you can use to start making money and growing your account. Over, Like I said, over 500 videos for your leisure. Now, let's go ahead and get into Warren Buffett and the two companies that he's deciding to bet on. Now, most of you know who Warren Buffett is, right? And he's betting on two companies, okay? Or we're gonna look at the charts, we're gonna look at what he says and thinks, and why he's making such big moves. Now, Buffett's big bet, over $29 billion of Berkshire Hathaway, that's his portfolio, is invested into two similar stocks, Chevron, or ticker symbol CVX, and Occidental Petroleum, or OXY. Now, the Chevron is his fifth largest holding in the Berkshire Hathaway portfolio. And Occidental Petroleum is just one spot behind. So it is the sixth largest holding. Now, both companies are major oil and gas producers. Buffett continues to scoop up shares of both of these. In the fourth quarter of 2023, he purchased only three stocks, two of them being this. So why? Why is that? Well, Perhaps Buffett expects the oil prices will rise soon. Even if he does, though, I don't think that primary reason behind aggressive buying of Chevron and Occidental. Now, he is the Oracle of Omaha. He knows he can't predict the future, but he has stated as much as latest letter that no one knows what oil prices will, be, will do over the next month, year, or decade. But Buffett is instead making a calculated bet on two things with this investment. He believes the demand for oil and gas will remain strong despite the increases, increased use of renewable energy. And second, he thinks that the carbon capture technology could be a game changer. That former isn't a once in a generation wager, but the latter is. Now, how much could this bet pay off? Well, the idea behind carbon capture is that carbon dioxide emissions can be captured and stored. There are also some uses for carbon dioxide, including injecting it into oil fields to enhance oil recovery. Occidental has trumped its investment in carbon capture and storage technology. In particular, the company is focusing on direct air capture, an approach where carbon dioxide is sucked from the atmosphere. Chevron is also investing heavily in carbon capture. The giant oil and gas producers hope to capture 25 million metric tons of carbon dioxide annually by the end of this decade. So what exactly does that mean for you and me well, let's talk about it, guys. Okay, we're going to bring up Weeble. I like Weeble a lot. We're going to talk about Chevron first. Now, Chevron has had some ups and downs. They're right now at $161 share price. As you can see, they've gotten as high as $179. So we're going to create that support level here at $179. So, sorry, resistance level at $179. We're also going to create a nice support level right around this area because that's kind of where it's been bouncing off of recently. So that's your support level. This is a great indication for many new investors on the channel, an area to buy and an area to sell. And you could do this multiple times throughout, or you can simply hold long term. Now, as you can see here, it has had some nice bounces along this area. So we'll just call this um, red line number two 
or resistance level two. Now it is coming up to previous resistance levels, but doesn't mean it can't stop and break through. The EMA obviously crossed the SMA, the blue line crossing the white line, indicating strong signs of upward momentum. Now, with that said, if you could have invested in this company even previously on this initial bounce here, let's start with this one, and you went up, that's 23% profit in 40 days. Also, to put that into perspective, 23% on even a small account, like say $1,000, would be 230 bucks in a month and a half. Not too bad, considering they also pay a $1.42 dividend. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, a thousand dollars, you probably really only could have bought maybe, um, I'd say maybe about eight shares, maybe six shares. But at a thousand dollars, you'd make two hundred and thirty bucks. You'd capture a dividend, um, say maybe like another ten bucks. So not a heck of a lot for dividends. Or you could simply hold this company long term. Now, I wouldn't recommend holding this company long term because obviously it went down. You could have lost twenty percent of your investment and just became a bag holder no clear sign or indication that it was going up anytime soon so what i like to do here with my strategy is simply buy low sell high capture those dividends rinse and repeat now we are in another bull run right here it had a nice low of 138 several times could have bought here 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 and now it's up almost 17 percent in about three months 18 percent in three months now it can go up as high as 30 percent 30% if it stays along with this line. 30% on $1,000, it's 300 bucks. 30% on $10,000 is $3,000. And in three months, that's $1,000 a month. Or if you did the $1,000 investment, that's $100 every single month. Imagine getting paid $100 every month to be like Warren Buffett himself and simply own shares of Chevron. Well, guys, this is too good to be true. Or is it? Well, not really, right? Because Chevron is not going anywhere. They're one of the largest gas tycoons here in America. Um, obviously, there's some new information for that carbon capture. And I believe that it can surpass 178 and easily get up to 200, 250, maybe even $300 by the end of, you know, they're talking about a decade. I'm talking about maybe in the next year or two. So there's plenty of room to grow with this company um so chevron's definitely a big one now oxy look at oxy okay oxy petroleum i've been tracking this company for quite some time here even to the point where i used to have the red lines instead of the green lines on the bottom now we're going to clear up some of these lines just to get them out of here and we have now uh seen or, or found a support now I would say support levels roughly right here, uh, resistance levels roughly right here at the $66 mark. Now, this is fairly cheaper than uh, Chevron, right? It's about a third, um, 6, 12, 18, eh, a little less, like two and a half or a third percent uh, position size of Chevron, right? Chevron's trading at 161, Oxy's trading at about 60. Now, there's one two, three, four, five opportunities to buy at the $55 level. Each time you would be able to add more position size and you can go up and sell shares. This is up nine, almost 20% in 80 days. And right here, it's up another 17% in 80 days. And look at this one from 55 and now broke its resistance levels at 66 and brought in new highs since of course previously back in november of last year to 25 percent profit so again perspective 250 dollars on a thousand twenty five hundred dollars on ten thousand dollar investment okay in 85 days not too shabby right and they actually broke so now there's new highs and which could be up here in that 70 dollar level now, $70 is still quite a ways away, but with all this new information, Warren Buffett investing in it, and of course the carbon capture that they're trying to do, we can easily see this company going up even further, making even 35% profit on your investments. Now, that is a substantial amount. Now, what it is definitely overbought at the moment, but no clear indication that it's coming down, which could indicate a good 
sign for you to continue to buy. Now, of course, there's not much room left here to go at 8% from previous highs, but that doesn't mean it can't pass that as well. Maybe get to that 80, 90, $100 mark, maybe even $200 by the end of a couple years or a decade. If Warren Buffett's buying it and putting in billions of dollars, then I don't understand why we shouldn't invest in it either. Now, I want to bring back some of these videos that I've been um, getting away from lately. I haven't been doing a great job at providing a better quality um, stocks and information to my 5,000 subscribers. And that's what I'm going to be working on moving forward. I still like to day trade and swing trade, but a lot of you out there said it was too complicated, too hard. They didn't have enough money. They didn't understand a lot of things. Um, I have a ton of videos on that. If you are into day trading and swing trading, be my guest. Definitely check that channel out or check my channel out. Um, I have tons of videos and let me showcase that to you. We have um, growing your account faster than the average trader how to um how much should you trade with profit size and and position sizes explained with profits um and then we have like lucid stock and we have coney stock that pays 100 percent dividend right now we also have three growth stocks in robotics ev and ai as well as being able to watch me trade live every single morning uh at the time of this recording now, I have also some other great information like what are the RSI indicators, what is a MACD indicator, how to know when to buy an oversold company, how to find good quality stocks, a lot of information just for you guys. So definitely check out some of these videos if you haven't already. And that is the Investing for Beginners community, over 5,000 subscribers and 500 videos now for you to check out. I just want to say thank you for your time. I appreciate you watching and spending a part of your day with us. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel and smash that little bell if you found value. Actually, I'm sorry. Smash the bell so you know when I go live and do other videos. And then smash that like button while you're down there too. If you think that you found value in today's video. We're going to keep it short. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.